What's going on world? What's up YouTube? This is Zero here and today I have another really big video for you guys that I am so excited to show all of you. This is actually my very first episode of Around the Community. Now, I'm going to explain to you guys exactly what this show is about. It's actually not a show, it's just an episode series that I'm starting. Basically guys, the person who got me into doing this uh, series in the first place is actually Obey Scares. Now, for those of you guys who don't know Scares, he is actually the leader of Obey. He is also one of my top inspirations. If you guys didn't watch my inspiration video, um, go ahead and check it out. I'll put a link in the description for it. Uh, yes, but Scares was actually one of my top inspirations, and he got me into doing this in the first place. Now, what I mean by that is, if you watch Scarce's videos pretty religiously, what you'll notice is a lot of his videos talk about news that's going on around kind of the community. And so, basically, his idea got me into making this series. Now, what I'm going to be talking about on this series is actually pretty much all the different news and uh, all the different drama that has happened in the month that we are are shooting it in. So basically, for for this episode, this is explaining all of the stuff that's happened this month, and I'm going to go through all of the little, um, all the drama, as well as all the really cool stuff that happened around the community, whether it was really um, good stuff, bad stuff, whatever it might be, just big news that happened in the community. Now, a lot of you probably already know this news just because you watch Scarce's videos and, and such. But with this, I wanted to make something different where it was everything in one. So this, sh uh, this episode series is going to be uploaded one time a month. And I'm going to explain all of the crazy news and stuff that's gone on around the community for that previous month. So basically, guys, what I'm going to go into is one by one on all the stuff that really stuck, uh, like kind of stood out to me. And uh, the first is is Genesis is back. And a lot of you guys already know that, but Genesis is back and is better than ever. Uh, they've got, you know, they ended a while ago and they, they came back with the original uh, crew as far as their leadership goes. And a lot of the new, uh, some of the new players as well as the, the old players are back in the team. And uh, what the really cool thing though about it is, is that a lot of these members actually left really big teams to join Genesis as far as uh, the first, you know, I mean, Soar lost a lot of players to guys who were really wanting to join Genesis. And, you know, it kind of sucks for Soar. I feel bad for Max. But, you know, honestly, I mean, Genesis is a great team and they're a bunch of really good friends. And a lot of these guys in Genesis have been super loyal to the team. And, you know, loyalty is hard to come by in this community especially, so re really give, you know, the guys who are running Genesis props because obviously they're doing their job right, and, you know, so I think I, I think we can all expect really big things from Genesis as far as really pumping out some amazing content they already have started, and a lot of the guys in Genesis are going to stay loyal to Genesis until they m join FaZe, and that's kind of really what they built Genesis around. Also, guys, really quickly, what I wanted to tell you uh is my uh, this gameplay that you guys are watching is actually uh, I, I went over a hundred kills in this game. I know it's not uh, normally I'm going to be uploading sniping episodes and such, but I've gone into a, per, playing professionally a little bit. And uh, anyways, that's th that's the gameplay you guys are watching. And anyways, going uh, onward, um, I wanted to let everybody know the people who don't know this that Dare ended. Uh, so basically, I've been, I've been hearing mixed reports on what's going on with that situation. It sounds like Dare is actually coming back, and they just are going to have new leadership. Farrell is trying to bring uh, the, the squad back together. We'll kind of see what happens over a period of time with all of that. Hopefully, Dare can make a pretty good comeback because they were kind of going down the, the low stretch. But anyways, so if you guys didn't know that, that's another pretty big update as far as Dare goes. Now, next, what I wanted to talk about was Drama Alert. Now, for those of you guys who don't know Drama Alert, uh, it's basically, it's kind of the same sort of thing as what Scarce does, but it's a little bit different. It's, it's kind of news that's going on around the community, but all drama. So, 
If you guys didn't know, this drama alert actually got terminated. And this is like the fourth time or so that it's actually happened. And it, it sucks for Keemstar. I, I feel bad for him. Honestly, I didn't really like watching much of his content, but it still sucks, you know, because he's he's worked pretty hard for that. But anyways, in other news, uh, Amazon buys Twitch for $970 million. Now, for some of you that guys that didn't know that, um, Amazon is, uh, who knows really what they're planning on doing with Twitch, but... That's just some huge news because those are some big numbers. I mean, it's close to a billion dollars that they paid for Twitch. And uh, I, you know, it, it's crazy to me. Uh, honestly, I, I can't, I have no idea what the plans are for Amazon. Hopefully they don't bring Twitch to shit. But anyways, that's just some big news that kind of went on in the community as well. Uh, another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about were the new recruits to Obey. Uh, Kevez, Fook, Wiv, uh, Wavy, or Wavy, and Desire all joined Obey, and those were uh, the four recruits that were picked up from from the Obey squad. Uh, if you guys watch their uh, th- their responses, are insane. Uh, Kevez, I, I, when I was watching his, I I was absolutely shocked. I mean, I he had a very good response. They all really, they all had amazing responses. So I'm not surprised at all those guys got chosen to join Obey. Their reactions, you can check them out on Scarce's channel. They're absolutely awesome. Another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about was uh, SB Chills and SB Burn uh, get promoted to leaders of SB, which I think is some really big news because, well, for those guys who don't know, this is actually my second response. For the SBRC, I for those of you guys who don't know, I'm I am going for the SBRC as I'm trying to get in as either a manager uh, or a co-leader or a commentator slash slash uh, content creator, and so this is my second response for it, and I just thought that I really wanted to express because Chills and Burn they got recruit or got promoted as leaders of SB, which I think is absolutely awesome because they've done so much work for SB. As well as, uh, for those guys who don't know Chills and Burn, they were actually the founders of Age. And Age ended, uh, well actually they got terminated and they put so much work into it. Ended up joining SB as co-leaders and they just recently got promoted to leaders. And I think that is absolutely amazing. I feel, I'm, I'm so happy for them. They really do deserve it. And that kind of brings me to my next topic about the SBRC. I've been watching a lot of the clips as well as, um, I've been watching a lot of the different people who are going for uh, being a commentator for SB, and I've been seeing some really cool responses so far. I, I, I'm, it's, it's absolutely awesome. There, there are a lot of people going for the SBRC because they haven't had one in a while, which I think is absolutely amazing that they're actually doing one right now. And the one thing, the reason why SB is my dream team is because Spacebound actually does some really unique kinds of recruitment challenges. They did one that was a, a squad response that you could do uh, trying to get in as a co-leader into SB. I just thought that that some of the resp- uh, some of the RCs are extremely creative that they make. Anyways, this is like I said my second response. I'm going to put the link in the description for my first response. It was actually uh, Call of Duty Tonight which was, uh, it was my very first uh, series that I'm actually making into a show. So hopefully you guys can go check that out. It was my first response. This is obviously my second. This uh, next thing I wanted to talk about with you guys is about Urban uh, Chapters. They are a new team that actually Chills and Burn started, and they are absolutely amazing already. I They only have a couple of uploads so far, but there is a lot of positive stuff going into that team. They already have uh, past 5K. They're well on their way to making an extremely solid fan base. And I I can see some amazing stuff coming out of that team. I, I love watching their content. And like I said, they have a lot of positive feedback coming back. And their their team seems to be really positive. They all, they I believe it was their very first um very first cams that actually had all the members or most of the members had their names changed already. Uh, the loyalty seems like it's already there right off the bat. So hopefully Urban, uh, I'm sorry, hopefully Chills and Burn can actually bring the team almost to an extent of what age was, and that would be absolutely amazing. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is about FaZe Rain becoming the co-leader of, of FaZe, and a lot of you guys already knew that, but for those of you who don't, FaZe Rain is 
edging towards a million subscribers. He's almost there, and uh, no one better than to pick FaZe Rain as the the new co-leader. I think that's absolutely amazing. Um, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about, about is uh, the new Call of Duty playlist in, uh, in Call of Duty um, Advanced Warfare. Now, the new playlist is actually where we can actually go back to the old days of Call of Duty where we can just play normal Call of Duty where there's no, you know, jetpacks or any, like, insane um, abilities, and we can actually play it. I forget what it's called, and um, anyways, I think it's going to be a really neat playlist that we can actually go back and forth, but I really think that the playlist that we can play with uh, using jetpacks and other abilities, I think it's going to be really cool. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is Soar Clash of the Clans, and for those of you guys who don't know this, um, the Clash of the Clans uh, just got done with their second round, and so they're really seeing the the best of these best teams that are making these amazing cams to go for the Clash of the Clans, and Soar's done such uh, an amazing job. I'm so happy for Max bringing uh, Clash of the Clans back into the community, and uh the teams that have been going for it are absolutely amazing. I'm going to put a link in the description for you guys for the Clash of the Clans. Uh, and hopefully you guys can kind of keep up to date as far as, uh, as far as just updates on the Clash of the Clans and the next round, so on and so forth. And also, the winner of Clash of the Clans actually gets a dual cams with Soar, which I think is absolutely awesome. The last thing I want to talk to you guys about is one more thing about Clash. Uh, the uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, and it's about YYing in the game, and it's been confirmed. We can YY on the game, and that, I think, is absolutely awesome. I think that the, un I think we're going to have unlimited boundaries as far as this game goes. I think it's going to be absolutely amazing. So hopefully, guys, uh, YY is going to kind of, when it comes back, we can do a lot of different kinds of trick shots, as well as people who go for different feeds. Uh, but anyways, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed this first episode of Around the Community. I plan on doing these, like I said, once a month because obviously there's a lot of news that goes on uh, into, you know, just the community and stuff. There's just so much that that ends up happening every month. It's crazy. The next thing, uh, really quickly, what I want to tell you guys, if you guys didn't, I'm doing a prize giveaway for the SBRC, which I uploaded yesterday. So go ahead and check that out. And... Uh, it's uh, for a few prizes. It's, it's actually going to be pretty cool. I also have a how-to series that I have coming out very soon for you guys, as well as I have one other uh, really neat series that I'm starting up on, on my personal channel. I don't want to tell you guys because I don't want anyone stealing my ideas, but like I said, I have a couple of really neat uploads coming up for you guys, and uh, thank you so much, guys, for all the support I've gotten on this SBRC so far, and uh, I have a lot more for you guys here in the near future. Take it easy, guys. Peace.